You just um, brought up a, a point that I was thinking of, and that is surgery yes. and and you know like or injury. Mm-hmm. Um, how does how does create because that's a stressful situation. Yeah, We're talking uh, about mm-hmm. you know really creating shining in that background of of some sort of stress, right. whether it's training mm-hmm. or you know sleep deprivation, but also you know you can have something like an injury yes. or a surgery where you're planning a stressful event. Yeah, it's multifactorial. The, the, the studies that have looked at it from a rehabilitation perspective, creatine seemed to increase these things called myogenic transcription factors. So without boring your audience, these are little guys that sort of tell DNA to sort of increase proteins in, in a quicker way. So these myogenic regulatory factors went up during rehabilitation. Uh, and then we did a study when we got individuals to put on a cast volunteer and creatine seemed to maintain strength. Going back to the mechanism, it probably has to do that reduction in protein breakdown or the anti-catabolic, anti-inflammatory effect. Again, we don't think it has anything from a synthetic perspective because creatine doesn't, but it does. It has been shown to increase satellite cells, which are needed for um, recovery and rehabilitation, growth factors, IGF-1, and, and decreases myostatin, the one that increases protein breakdown. So all of these factors come into play. It's like the caramel secret. There's a whole bunch of things that go into that chocolate bar. Creatine seems to work in a very variety of ways. And then again, on the other side, it's certainly been shown to decrease reactive oxidative species. So it seems to have more of a preservation to the cell effect. Um, But from an injury perspective, um, it seems to speed up recovery, 